Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. The name of my YouTube channel is eGuru for you. So let's start the video. So today, uh, in this video, I will discuss about plant tissue culture laboratory. So what are the basic requirements for a typical plant tissue culture laboratory? So if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So let's start. So plant tissue culture laboratory can easily be understood by taking an example of one BHK flat. So as you know that in one BHK flat we have several rooms like bathroom, kitchen room, bedroom, drawing room, etc. So these are the separate rooms which are required for the various purpose, various specific purpose in our home. Similarly, in the case of plant tissue culture laboratory, we need several specific rooms like we need washing room, media preparation room, inoculation room, then culture room. So these are the basic facilities which are required in a typical small sized plant tissue culture laboratory so what are the specificity of these rooms what are the facilities which are required in these rooms so we'll discuss one by one so first one is washing room so in the washing room we have wash basin tap water system water distillation unit then hot air oven then next we have media preparation room in media preparation room we require working benches on which we can work then we need chemical reagents like uh, major salt minor salts then we require vitamins plant growth hormones sucrose etc we require glassware or plasticware to prepare the artificial nutrient media for example beaker, conical flask, measuring cylinder etc. We also require instruments in media preparation room. So what are these instruments which are required? We will discuss in next slide. Yes, then list of instruments. So first one is weighing balance as you know that weighing balance is used to measure the chemical reagents then we have magnetic stirrer it is used to mix the chemical components in distilled water ph meter it is required to maintain the ph of a solution then next we have distillation unit is required to prepare the distilled water we have laminar airflow which is required for manipulation work under a septic condition hot air oven it is required for dry sterilization then we require microwave oven which is required uh, generally to melt the agar in the solution the next instrument is autoclave, it is generally used for steam sterilization. Then we have refrigerator which is used to store the chemical reagents or we can also store our stuff solutions. Okay, so these are the list of some important instruments which are required in media preparation room. Then Another slide we have inoculation room. So, what is inoculation? Inoculation is the transfer of explant to the artificial nutrient media. So, in inoculation room, we require laminar airflow. So, laminar airflow is the main instrument where we perform the process of inoculation under a septic condition. So, we require explants which are transferred into the artificial nutrient media 
then we use the several sterilization techniques like chemical sterilization for sterilization of surface of explants. We also use alcohol sterilization, flame sterilization, UV sterilization, etc. Then next room is culture room. It is the most important room in tissue culture laboratory. So this is the room where we provide all the controlled environmental conditions for proper growth and development of the plantlets. So first is the temperature. It is maintained up to 25 plus minus 2 degrees Celsius. Then we provide light intensity. It ranges from 2000 to 5000 lux. Then we provide photo period 6 to 12 hours. So there is a difference between light intensity and photo period. In the case of light intensity, it is defined as the number of photons striking per unit area per unit time. But photo period is the duration of light required by the particular plant. So it varies from 6 hours to 12 hours. So the next requirement is humidity. Yes, humidity is maintained in tissue culture laboratory. In culture room, it, is, it varies from 20 to 98%. So these are the basic requirements in culture room. These are the environmental conditions which are controlled and uh, plants are grown artificially. So now we'll discuss about the instruments which are required in culture room. So first one is thermometer. As you know that it is required to measure the temperature. And the next room is air conditioner. It is also required to maintain the temperature in culture room. And then we require automatic timer to maintain the time, duration of light. Then we need fluorescent light, hygrometer. Hygrometer is another instrument which is required to measure the humidity in culture room. Then we need racks. Racks are required because uh, we, we keep our culture vessels over the rack where they are grown into plantlets. So these are the basic facilities which are in plant tissue culture laboratory.